Today I am sharing with you some make ahead breakfast freezer meals. My mornings are crazy. So if I don't have breakfast ready to go, which I usually don't, this is what happens. So one of my tricks is making freezer meal breakfast. So all they have to do is grab the food, either blend it or microwave it, then they can just be on their way. But before we jump into the recipes, I just want to thank Oatsum for sponsoring this video. Now, Oatsum is an oat milk that is plant-based, organic, gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free, and non-GMO. Now, my husband doesn't do milk, and so he's always looking for different options, and this oats milk actually is delicious. Now, the one thing I like about it is that when I make smoothies, Oatsum awesome makes it even creamier. I'm super excited to show you these freezer meals. If you're ready, let's just jump right in. Now the first recipe I'm making is called a freezer breakfast sandwich, or just my version of an Egg McMuffin. To start this recipe, we're gonna crack all 12 eggs into the bowl. All right, once all the eggs are in, we're just gonna add about two tablespoons of the oat milk. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Then you're just gonna mix it all together until all the eggs are broken up. You can use beaters for this, or you can just use your whisk. Then you're gonna wanna spray it with some cooking spray. You're just gonna dump in your eggs. Once your eggs are in here, you're gonna bake it at 325 for about 18 to 20 minutes. Keep an eye on it. You want it to be cooked majority of the way through. Okay, so we're gonna cut them into 12. So I'm actually just gonna go right down the middle and then thirds, a little on the side, and then we'll cut them all in half. Then you just have to put it together. So I like putting my egg down first, then my ham. I like to double up on this ham because it's so thin, and then your cheese, and put it all together. You wait till everything is cool. You don't want the eggs hot while you freeze it because then it will get a little soggy. Then I like to put it in individual baggies. You can wrap it in foil or saran wrap, but it's just a lot easier for my husband to grab baggies. So we're just gonna throw it in one of these bags. Then we'll put all the Egg McMuffins in the big giant freezer bag. So when it's time to eat your Egg McMuffin, you're gonna pull it out of the bag. It will most likely be frozen. You'll put it on a plate and just microwave it until it's cooked or thawed all the way through. All right, you guys can see this. It is nice and cheesy, just how I like it. Let's give a little taste. Mm. It's really good. The next freezer meal I'm making is our easy berry smoothie. Now one reason I love doing smoothie freezer meals is because lots of times my spinach goes bad, lots of times my yogurt expires, and so if you just put it all in a baggie and freeze it, it just makes life easier. So I'm gonna start by adding my yogurt into my bag. Now I like using flavored Greek yogurt, that's my favorite. So next I'm gonna add half a cup of spinach. I like to eyeball, you guys know this and then about one cup of frozen berries. Now my trick when you're using spinach, if you use blueberries, it will turn your smoothies purple instead of green. And then just one cup of, I like to use the triple berries. And then you're just going to close it up. And that's it. All right, now it's time to blend up the smoothie. Now I like to stick it in the fridge the night before just so it's a little bit softer. You can put it in frozen. Sometimes it's hard to get into the blender. So now that it's all nice and thawed, we're gonna put it into my cup. Now because there is yogurt in there, you're just gonna try and squeeze all the yogurt and all the flavoring out of the plastic bag. Now I'm gonna add some oatsome milk. This is the original kind, about a half a cup. Okay, now it's time to blend. All right, now let's try it. Has that's really good. So the next recipe I'm making is called egg and sausage roll-ups. You're gonna need some cheese. I like using cheddar cheese. Some already cooked sausage. Let's be honest, this just makes life a little bit easier. I like to use some crescents. We have eggs and then a little bit of oatsum. We're gonna start by cracking five eggs into the skillet. Just a little bit of oatsum milk and some salt and pepper. Then you just wanna scramble these up, mix everything together until the eggs are cooked to your liking. I like to cook my eggs so they are all the way cooked. Now once they're all cooked, just go ahead and turn that heat off. <laughs> and I like to move them so they don't overcook. Now I'm going to heat up the sausage. I like to put them on a paper towel 
and then they're ready to microwave. Now for my least favorite part. Oh, got it. <laughs> now I just like to open up my crescents. I even like to take a small knife and just kind of cut where the pre-cut lines are, it'll just make your life a whole lot easier. Now with this recipe, the nice thing is, is that you can double or triple this to have a lot to put into your freezer. Okay, crescents are ready. Now it's time to just put everything all together. So I'm gonna put my cheese down first. I just split the cheddar cheese in half, a little bit of the eggs, and put my sausage right next to it. Then you're gonna take the corners, fold one corner in, Pull the other corner in, and we're just gonna roll it on up. Oh my, that is gonna be amazing. I'm just gonna do it with the rest of them. Now you're gonna cook them 15 to 18 minutes until golden brown. Once they're all browned, you can just pull them on out. I just wanna show you this. Oh man, looks so good. Now for the taste test. That is amazing. So when it's all cooled, then it is safe to put in your freezer bag. Now I will warn you with the crescents, they don't freeze as nice as you would like them. Sometimes they're a little bit soggy when you pull them out. So I actually like to make these and eat them the morning of. If there's a few extras, I put them in the fridge. So the next meal I'm making is chocolate peanut butter protein smoothie. Now I like to get my baggies all prepped and ready with the name of the smoothie that I'm making. So we're gonna start with a half a banana. Then I grab about a half a cup of spinach, about a tablespoon of peanut butter, and I like to just kind of scrape it off. And then one tablespoon of cocoa, one scoop of your favorite protein powder. Then you're gonna get the air out and just zip it right up. Then I just like to do it five more times so you're making six of the little smoothie bags. Then I just like to stick them in the top so I can actually get to them in the morning time. Now to make the smoothie, you're just gonna take everything out of the container. I like to make it so it just has a little opening so it'll make your life a little bit easier going into your blender. If you have a big blender lid, obviously you can just dump it, but mine's a small one. I like to make individual servings. So you're just gonna go ahead and just dump everything in. I make sure you get the rest of that peanut butter. Now I'm gonna add some oatsome chocolate oat milk. So you want about a cup of this. There we go. Then I just put my lid on and it's time to blend it up. Time for the taste test. Oh, that's good. The last recipe is easy freezer French toast sticks. So with this recipe, it calls for a whole entire loaf of Texas toast, but I actually like to split in half. So we have half a loaf of Texas toast and then half a loaf of whole wheat bread. So along with the whole wheat bread, the oat milk, oatsum, is actually made out of whole grain too. So it's a win-win. So to start, we need to make our egg mixture. So we're gonna need eight eggs, a cup and a third of oat, some oat milk, two teaspoons of vanilla, and two teaspoons of cinnamon. And that's it, you're just gonna mix it all together. All right, once you're done mixing, you can just set this to the side. You want to cut up your bread either into three or four slices. I like to do three because I like them just a little bit thicker. Now with the wheat bread, I'm actually gonna cut it this way so they won't be so thin. Once your toast is all ready, it's time to cook. So we're just gonna take a piece. We're gonna dip it in both sides. Pull it out and put it right on. Now while they are cooking, I'm just gonna line a cookie sheet with some parchment paper. Then when they're done cooking, you're just gonna take them off the little griddle and put them on your lined cookie sheet. Then we're gonna stick this in the freezer until they're a little bit frozen. It might take about an hour or so. So when they are all pretty well frozen, then we're just gonna stick them into a freezer bag. I'm gonna pick this one. Good idea, you wanna throw it in? Oh. It's cold. Ooh, it is cold, huh? You wanna try one? You can try it cold. What do you think? Good. Yeah, you gonna shove it in? Yeah, we're all family. Then I'll just stick this in the freezer and my kids can pull it out and microwave it when they want one. Let's taste it. Mm. I love French toast. <laughs>
Now, if you're interested in oats and oat milk, I put a link down below in the description for you so you can try it out for yourselves. If you want some more freezer breakfast recipes, I have a whole bunch of other ones right up there. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.